welcome back. It's Tuesday. We are going to practice some phonics and chunking out some words. The first sound we're going to practice is the short A sound. What sound are we going to practice? Short A sound. And that sounds like uh, uh, you say it. Uh, uh, very good. Like cat, cat. Good. It sounds like uh. Apple, apple, very good. We are going to build some words together. I have some letters up here for us. I have a B, and that sounds like B, you say it. I have an M, and that sounds like M, you say it. I have an S, and it sounds like S, S. And I have a T, and that sounds like T, T. I also have an A, an A. A is, an, is a vowel. It's a vowel. Vowels have two sounds. Sometimes they say their own name and sometimes they say their short name, which is in this case, uh, uh. We're going to start by building the word at. 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 So I have my A. And I want to spell the word at, at. Which of these letters could make the word at? Our T would make the word at. Very good. We're gonna chunk it out. That means I'm gonna say each sound and then I'm gonna say it once uh, fluidly all together. So say it with me, at, at. Good, we said each sound and then we said it once fluidly. At, at, at. Very good. How could I make this say bat, b, at, bat? Right, I could bring up my B. That's the beginning sound. T is the ending sound and a uh is my middle sound. Let's chunk it out again, ready? B, at, bat. Good job. One more time. I want you to say it with me. B, at, bat. Excellent. All right, let's return my letters. I'm going to keep my A up there. How can I make this say mat? M, at, mat. I need my beginning sound, which is mm. And my ending sound, which is t, m, at. All right, let's say each sound. Ready? M, at, mat. One more time. M, at, mat. Very good. Let's return all our letters. How can I spell the word sat? S, at, sat. All right, my beginning sound is S, S, and my ending sound is T, S, at, sat. All right, I'm gonna put my hand under it. When I do, I want you to say each sound. Ready? S, at, sat. One more time. S, at, sat. Great job. We're going to do this all the time and you can start writing these letters with me and putting your finger under the sound as we say it. Great job. So we're practicing the short A sound and it sounds like uh, uh. It sounds like great job. Okay, we just talked about some phonics, some word building. Now we're gonna talk about some vocabulary words. These are new words that first graders can use all the time and they might be reading these words in their story. The first word <clears throat> is friendship. You say it, friendship, great job. What does friendship mean? Hmm. What does it mean to have a friendship? I know what it means to have a friend. I don't know if I've ever heard the word friendship though. What do you think? 
So this tells us when you have a friendship with someone, you like the person. You might have a friendship with someone and that's the relationship you have with a friend. A friend means you spend time together, you like the same things, you like to go to the same places and you have a lot to talk about. My best friend is named Sam and I've known her since I was in kindergarten. That is a really long time. The next word is emotions. You say it, emotions. And this reminds me of Ruby finds a worry that we read yesterday. Look at all these smiley faces. They're making different um, facial expressions to show us a different emotion. What kind of um, emotion do you think that is making? That one looks pretty happy, right? This one looks hmm, maybe a little unsure, like they might have a worry. An emotion is a feeling you have like happiness or sadness. This kind of reminds me too of um, Inside Out. Remember that movie? And they talk about all the different feelings that that one girl has. So emotions are all feelings that you have. Ruby was feeling worried. She had a worry. She was always thinking about it. She couldn't focus on anything else. At the end of her story, whenever she found someone to talk to her to about her worry, she felt happy and relieved. So far we have friendship, you say it, friendship and emotions, you say it. Emotions, great job. Ooh, this one, this word is challenge, you say it. Challenge, great job. Wow, look at this rock climber looking at this huge cliff. I think she's gonna climb that, but it's going to be a challenge. What could challenge mean? How could we put that in a first grade word? Challenge. Hmm, a challenge is something that is hard to do. Something that is hard to do. Maybe last year you had a challenge in kindergarten. Maybe you had a challenge this summer learning to swim or learning to ride your bike. Something that was hard, but you did it. Oh, this is our last word for today. We're gonna go over some more tomorrow. This word is noisy. Can you say it? Noisy, and look at this picture. This little boy is drumming and his dad looks ooh, really bothered by that noise. What does noisy mean? Noisy means something is loud and full of sounds, like this drum set that this boy is um, playing. I bet there are some noisy toys in your house too. All right, those are all the words we're talking about today and we are going to shift over and read a story. All right, we are going to read a story right now, and it is in your backpack. It's in your backpack. It's called your My Book. Go ahead and pull that out. It looks just like this. Pull out your My Book. It has one friend waving um, at someone on the recess playground. All right, I want you to take 30 seconds to flip through your my book, look at the pages, look at the pictures, look at the different stories. So go ahead and take 30 seconds and I'm gonna move to my desk. Did you use those 30 seconds? Great job. All right, so the first thing I want you to see in your my book is the table of contents. You say it, table of contents, very good. And that is in the very beginning. It is on page four and it looks like this. So turn to page four and look at this. 
And this is like a preview of everything you're going to read in this book. These are all the stories and the pages that those stories are on. Hmm. So, what page is my school trip on? What page would that be on? It's all the way over here. What page would that be? 32, that's right, very good. Today, we're going to read this story, Try This. And it is on page 14, it's a one and a four. So turn to page 14, a one and a four. Turn to page 14, it's a one and a four. Great job. All right, I want you to take a picture walk through this story. A picture walk means you're looking at the pictures, you're looking at the words, you're thinking about what this story might be about. So take a picture walk all the way to page 24. I'm noticing that these are photographs of real children. And that gives me a hint that this could be non-fiction, meaning it is real. It's a true story. All right. All right. Everyone meet me on page 16, a one and a six. Meet me on page 16, one and a six. So we're going to read this together, but as you're reading, I want you to have your pointer finger ready and as I say the word, your pointer finger is going to be under the word. You're going to be listening to my words and thinking about what I'm saying. And you have these great pictures and you can see um, as I'm reading the words that those pictures go with the words. I'm reading about someone's first day of school, so you're not going to see a picture of a fish. No, it's going to be children on their first day of school. Okay. So on page 16, your fingers under the word as I'm saying it. Ready? We go to, oh, there's one of our hi-fi words, school. You read it. We go to school. Great job. You can see all the different ways these children are going to school. Next one. This is new. You say it. This is new. Try this, Sam. Try this, Sam. All right. It's new. He's trying something new. Let's turn the page. All right. Wonder what's going to happen. Keep your finger under the word. We like this bus. You say it. We like this bus. Great job. This bus is great. This bus is great. I'm saying it's so excited because I see an exclamation point at the end and that means I should raise my voice up excited because it's an exclamation point. Next page. We go to new rooms. You say it. We go to new rooms. This is new. Try to paint, Sam. Try to paint, Sam. Very good. Ooh, wonder what this page is going to be about. I see children playing. I see that they're outdoors when all the other pictures, they were inside. Let's read it. We go outside at school. Okay, you say it. We go 
outside at school. This is new. You say it. This is new. Try to bat, Sam. Try to bat, Sam. Last page. School is great. You say it. School is great. We like to try. We like to try. Wow, that was a great story. And I could tell that you were reading a lot of those words. Today, as um, for your assignment, I want you to reread this story to someone else. You might not remember all the words we just read together, but there are a lot of our high fi words in here, like to and the. So I want you to reread this story to someone, and while you're reading, I want you to circle right on the page all the high fi words you see. 